Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energies, Ace of Wands. Justice, Major Arcana, Two of Swords, and the Fool. Your person's energies, Page of Swords, The Magician, Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Meeting Energies, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Cups. Our focus. 10 of Cups, this is the higher goal. Bottom of the deck, tricky Knight of Wands energy. Because this can be a fairly young connection, guys, that can be passionate. Some of you maybe have shared uh, intimacy with a new person. But the connection is... Um, not official yet and all of a sudden some of you can start to notice something not exactly ideal or positive about your person mm. they are thinking that the deal is already sealed between the two of you and they can be victorious I would say to them that they are rushing things a little bit um, a little bit too much you know because the five of swords is a problem seven of cups multiple factors that uh, deserve attention the ace of swords is positive because it can be it can be about clarity the four of cups can be someone or can be about someone out of reach because an offer can be turned down you know and you have the justice and the two of swords as a right and fair evaluation in order to make a decision uh, about a leap of faith and it is not said that this connection can take off officially vast vistas expand your horizons um, the man is coming out of a box and this can be this can be about boundaries that this connection can have and also boundaries that some of you might not like narrow pathway tread thoughtfully this person truly thinks that uh, the two of you are good to go miracles and grounding, go deep, explore your roots. The lady, in this case, is uh, under the tree, like the man in the Four of Cups, she is reading a book, it seems. This is about knowledge, guys, for some of you. You have to be wise. It means that you have to uh, evaluate carefully the connection with this person. And as a consequence, uh, the opportunity to agree uh, to start a relationship. This person thinks that they can seize the moment, you know, they can be with you moving forward. Because maybe the chemistry is undeniable. Maybe you like each other. Uh, two attractive persons that can truly find each other irresistible all right but then we have to understand if the connection um, can truly stand the test of time past what if what if this person reminds you someone of someone of the past you know someone that can um, be associated to a challenging past lover integrity this is super important considering the justice kindness 
it can be a factor in favor of the connection. Maybe it describes how the connection started. Bottom of the deck, judgment. Judgment call, guys. Now, the judgment can be about a second chance. We get the past oracle card. If the knight of wands magician is an X, the opportunity is super questionable, guys. So, put the energies in perspective if you are dealing with a former lover. If this is a new person of interest, uh, it is not said that the connection can work. So let's find out more. Let's see, guys. Page of Swords, Gathering Knowledge. Your person can constantly try to ignite the flow of communication with you because they want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. They can make a lot of things um, happen in order to uh, kind of... Um, demonstrate that they can be the one for you but at the end of the day this should be an evaluation that you have to make on your own they see victory when it comes to their expectations about the opportunity to be in a connection with you again the ten of cups can be about fulfillment guys and this person maybe truly thinks that you can be the one for them my question to you is can this person be the one for you? So, let's see the Six of Wands, because it is, it is like a progression, a movement forward, theoretically towards success. Here we go. Nine of Wands. This can be about a disappointment. Wheel of Fortune, Time Factor. Three of Cups. If it is an ex, guys, this person, uh, the Three of Cups can be about memories, the past, and also maybe a third party situation, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords influenced. If that's the case, uh, you can truly be the man under the tree looking at the Three Cups down below. If this is an ex, the odds are not in their favor. If this is a new person, the Three of Cups energy is about the pleasure to be in your company. Queen of Cups. This is an energy about um, someone that is able to understand if genuine intentions are granted in favor of a connection. Um, allow me to say that you have to understand if this person can be the Queen of Cups, because if they are an ex, they have already proven um, to you that they couldn't fulfill the energy about the opportunity to respect and nurture a love connection. And if that was the case in the past, that's why it was over. So the justice can even be something that you have already manifested if this is an X and you can be called to uh, make once again the same point Speaking about the justice, let's go for the energy because the fool can be a leap of faith, but it's up in the air, you know, it is not said. There is going to be a decision, uh, two of swords, about a spark of passion, but the justice is the energy that can swing the ace of swords, and we got the ace in the meeting. So let's go for the justice, a right and fair decision fair and fair exchange also balance respect here we go i love it queen of swords for me the justice lady can swing the ace of swords in a queen of swords fashion so guys you will have to be super sharp if this is an ex if they are a new person there is something that is not quite right the lovers crossroads heart overhead decision what does your heart tell you about this person eight of wands we got it guys uh, there can be passion or at least desire and attraction if this is a new person plus the energy of communication that we can associate to the cupid's arrows concept if this is an ex there was passion in the past, 
it is not said that uh, there is going to be passion moving forward. King of Swords, match for the Queen, meaningful pair, meaningful couple, if this is an ex, guys, because basically you know them well, and so they cannot fool you guys. If this is a new person, you will have to understand, you will have to figure out if they can be um, a fair companion for you. Because if the answer is no, the leap of faith cannot be embraced. Now, guys, in the meeting, let's go for the Ace of Swords, because the Five of Swords is an ego-driven energy. Um, clouded sky, so clouded interaction. There is something that, again, is not quite right. There can be multiple factors that deserve your attention. If this is an X, you can be closed off. Uh, kinda because you know better and so the Ace of Swords can be your verdict but it can be a verdict also if this person is a new one so let's see what we can get if this person is an ex, integrity Mm, as a factor plays a huge role because you can say to them that um, there are no chances for them to be with you one more time because if there was a third party situation in the past it will not happen again the sun what can make you happy this is about inner happiness for me guys the courage of a person to understand where their happiness truly is and how it can be possible to pursue it more and more along the journey. The man in the Three of Wands is waiting for the sun to come up. If this person is an ex, they have been thinking about the opportunity to be with you one more time, but there can be ego in, in this scenario, let's say. Two of Cups, chance to share love, an opportunity for a romantic cycle, but the Empress, healthy development, healthy growth. Guys, I stand by the consideration that if this is an X, they do not stand a chance. Seven of Wands. If this is a new person, uh, the connection can be quite exciting because of the physical side, because of the chemistry. And they can be factors... Um, that can be in favor of a new connection you have to pay attention to something else this is the point because um, allow me to say that passion or sex if uh, you have been already intimate with the new person can cloud your judgment and so this should be um, like a reminder, allow me to say, uh, you have to be sharp. Your mind has to be sharp. You have to think in a clear way. You have to understand. You have to ask yourself if you can find a healthy development moving forward with this person if they are a new love interest, let's say. And... Um, I would say that something is not how it seems. Because even in the scenario about a new person, the seven of wands cannot be underestimated. And this is a resistance, a you shall not pass type of energy, even the decision to resist passion and desire, all the ones that are in front of the man um, with the red shirt. Guys, it seems a coin flip, when it comes to a new connection, but once again, be smart, ground yourself, go deep, explore your roots, ask yourself the good questions, ask your person the good questions, and um, on the other hand, if this is an ex, as a main feeling, they do not stand a chance, and the answers that can justify the decision to say no can be found in the past. 
Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.